Good afternoon and welcome to our Midday Mole for Wednesday the 10th of June. As I was walking up to the church I was thinking about society and the spread of the Black Lives Matter protests around the world. Starting in America, we've seen them in the UK and Australia, um, in South Africa as well. And I was wondering about our response and how we engage as Christians. And today I was reading from Isaiah, Isaiah 42, and the first of the uh, servant narratives in Isaiah. And it starts off, here is my servant, Isaiah 42 verse 1. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. And I struck by that word that he will bring justice to the nations. We so often focus that he will bring righteousness and forgiveness and love. But it starts off he will bring justice. And do we do that today? Back in the 80s, the church was quite strong on justice and during the struggle against apartheid. But after apartheid ended, I think we've put that on the back burner and forgotten about it. And maybe that needs to be become an issue in our lives and in the church again. The, the, the idea that we have justice as an imperative, because it continues that passage. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. Um, a bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establish justice on earth. In his law the islands will put their hope. And it occurs three times in those four verses that he will work for justice. And I'm thinking, what does justice look like? Um, in politics and in society, it has one uh, dimension which the church needs to speak out about. But what does it look like in our lives and the way we treat people? Um, and what does justice look like when you're standing in a supermarket queue with some obnoxious shopper in front of you, sh mouthing the odds and, and treating the cashier disdainfully? What does justice look like there? Or when you're at the teller, uh, uh, at the, the garage and the petrol attendant has got no interest in speeding matters up. What does justice look like in your life in that case? And in the church where you're dealing with people and you in a Bible study and there's somebody that does tend to talk too much. What does justice look like in our dealings there? Dealing faithfully with that individual but at the same time being just to the other people in the Bible study. And I was struck by that and th uh, have thought uh, maybe this is something I, for one, will need to think more about and mull over a lot more in the next while. How do we work and live and reflect Jesus and that suffering servants focus on justice? If we can get that right ourselves and if we can get that right in the church, I think we would have a profound impact on the world. And that's what we need. If we have the answers, we need to pursue them and to share them. So, mull it over yourself. What does justice look like in your life? And be blessed.